The Sonoran Desert in Arizona, otherwise known as the Gila Desert, home to one of only two venomous lizards in the world, the Gila Monster, whose cousin is the Mexican Indian Lizard. Get us all. Because they grow up to 21 inches long, they're pretty scary. Ah! Okay, they're not that scary. The Gila Monster's scientific classification is Kingdom is Animalia. The genus is Heloderma. It's kind of funny to say Heloderma. And the species is Suspectum. And they're pretty funny looking. With short squatty legs. Venom glands in the lower jaw. Scales look like bees in colored splotches. Wide feet. And they store their fat in their tail. Sounds kind of like my Aunt Margie. Nice. The physical characteristics make sense when you figure there's 98% of its life in underground burrows. It also lives around cactuses and bushes, Harry. Because they store fat in their tail, they can live off it for months without eating. Which is handy since they only feed three to four times a year. <laughs> I would eat that. When they do eat, their diet consists of birds, snakes, and other lizards. Even small dogs. Because of this yummy diet, they play an important role in the desert ecology. That's cool. Without them helping to control the population, we would have an imbalance in the ecosystem. To keep this cycle going, they can have up to 15 babies. Oh, yeah. They've been put on the near, the near threatened red list because of the clearing of their land. In California, you can't even get a permit to keep this lizard. This guy must live somewhere else. Over the years, this non-aggressive, slow-moving lizard has been studied and true facts have been discovered. The Gila monster's venom is similar to the rattlesnake's venom. Except the Gila is non aggressive, so there's no known deaths attributed to the Gila bite. Maybe, but I'll bet it hurts like crazy. What is this black menace that kills everything it sees and hears? No human mind could imagine the enormous destructive power of this maddened, killing thing. A lot of myths have been around about the Gila monster over the years. Like if one breathes on you, you'll die. That's crazy talk. You might be surprised to learn that the Gila monster's venom has been found to be effective in the treatment of diabetes. Talk about ironic. I mean, it's supposed to, isn't venom supposed to kill you? I mean, what? I'm so confused. So in review, the Gila monster isn't really a monster at all. Nope, it's an important part of nature's balance. And it could actually help people. And that's pretty cool. Let's get out of here, it's burning out. Yeah. Thank you.